ruled most of North Africa into Spain and That's right. Portugal. That's right. That's why they claim that Hannibal was a Moor. That's why I showed you Hannibal. Because I showed you the glyphs. I'm a symbolist. The glyphs that his wife used were from Kemet. But then they'll tell you when you read the Stolen Legacy mm -hmm. that Graham said in there that they are the custodians of the Egyptian religion. You'll hear them say that. I always say to them, if you're the custodians, why do you call on the name of Allah? Did you adapt that God? If you're the custodians? Because if you're the custodians of Egyptian religion, I'm supposed to be coming to you for hieroglyphic lessons mm -hmm. and breaking down the Medinetta. But instead, when you see me, you go, Islam. Why? Because we go to the British Museum and we will see this there. The Battle of what? Adua, 1896. What was that battle? I don't have to go into the history of the Moors. A picture speaks a thousand words. Let me show you the picture. See, you see the painting of the Moors and his voice will start dropping a little level because he knows I'm talking about this image. Now you can clearly see the Moors here in their red hat. Can you see? Mm, yes. As you can see them here. Mm -hmm. You can see them here. Can you see? Yep. These are the Ethiopians. This would be me, all of us here would probably be on this side. This is the queen right here, came out with her own revolver, because they, they killed them, they, they won this war. That's why you hear some Rasaman say, Ethiopia has never been conquered. This is what they're talking about, when Mussolini was coming in. But who's fighting right with them? Does anyone here play chess? Yeah. You play chess? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Look at the pawns on the chessboard. They would die first. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I, I can show you worse images, but I'm just showing you a primary source from the British Museum. Italian, we come in and clean up the shit afterwards. But if I see this picture and I'm saying, is this Moors? Then the Moors need to explain why the fuck they keep talking about treaties when they're killing their own people. Just on how tr the treaty and the law give me lectures on why you were race traitors because the picture speaks a thousand words. Here we are flying the red, gold and green. And here you're walking with the Italians flying their flag. That's why you're always talking about signing treaties with the Europeans, yeah. even when we were at war. And they still fucked them over. And you still got fucked over. Some of them must be Jamaican women. I'll tell you that, I'll say that to my <laughs> yeah. brother. Because you see that, and America. Because yeah. you see girls over there that will beat the shit out of you if, you don't, if you're not straight. Mm. And we've seen them in Jamaica. I remember this policewoman when I was growing up in Jamaica. Run down a bad boy and just all him and just start like, bucks him up. Like her little son. And I remember just looking at her thinking, I ain't fucking with shit. We've always had warriors from our tribe. The trick is, get them interested in Prada. Yeah. <laughs> EastEnders. Let me tell you the next episode what's going to happen to Stacey. Their minds warped. And we have to keep pushing this until they wake up. Because they're waking up, they've got no choice. Beyonce and all of them, Jada, uh, what's her name? Jada Pinkett Smith. Come out and say, oh, even though it's the Oscars, but now they feel like, yo, we have to start talking. Now the moment they start talking, you're in problems. I guarantee it. Yeah. The hand that rocks the cradle, mm -hmm. rules the world.